I completed my 100 YouTube videos challenge in just under 90 days and I'm going to share the results and what I've learned with you. So numbers wise, I have 62 new subscribers as a result. Of course, I have a hundred new videos. So I have 309 videos on my channel. My views, watch time, and average new subscribers are all up. I did get comments and interactions on some of my videos, not all of them. Views on, views on all of them to some degree or another. And I learned a lot. So I'm not going to focus so much on what I learned technically, because I don't think that's actually, those are actually my greatest learnings. Instead, I'm gonna share what I've taken from this process that not only applies to YouTube, but to other areas of my life when I'm trying something new. So the first thing that I've learned even more deeply than I knew before is that I can always create. I don't have to be in a good mood. I don't have to be inspired. I don't even have to have an idea to create a video. I did this completely without discipline or time blocking or doing all of the other things that you're supposed to do when you try to make yourself show up for something. And all I did was really have an authentic commitment to something that I actually want to do. When that happens, there's always something available for me to create. It might not be good in my opinion, but much of what I created was actually at least decent. And it certainly shows promise, which brings me to the second thing that I've learned. My message, the message I'm sharing comes through me as I share it and it gets stronger and clearer as I go. I didn't have a plan for what I was going to share on my YouTube channel. Again, that's probably something that most, most people say you're supposed to do. And I didn't, I just made content about stuff that was relevant to me and the people that I'm here to serve. In this case, these are change making entrepreneurs, people with service based businesses, who want to make a positive difference in the world through the business that they're creating. So I thought about the people that I know, the conversations I'm having, what I'm seeing right now that can help. And that's what I made content about. What was interesting is that a lot of the videos I made were about fear and they actually were some of my more popular videos. I didn't know I was going to do that. But it turns out I was in a very personal exploration around becoming fearless for myself in my life. And these videos are a real time exploration and sharing of my own journey inside of it. So that was kind of interesting. I didn't notice that. But what I've gotten clearer on is what I want to be up to and who I want to be up to that with. The third lesson that I've learned from this is that what I focus on determines the results I get. When I started this 100 YouTube videos challenge, I set some goals for myself and they were some pretty big goals, but honestly, I really didn't fixate on, I didn't focus on any of the numbers. What I was really focused on was doing the videos and seeing what happened, sharing what I wanted to share and see what I learned as a result. So that's what I got. And I got a very rich experience along those lines. However, I did not get the most subscribers and the most views. That's not what I was focusing on. If I had been focusing on those things, I would have taken different actions. So this is something that I've noticed in this experiment, like, okay, next version, I'm going to take some of these metrics into account and see what I can do there creatively. Number four, I actually want to get serious with YouTube. It's time, YouTube, it's time you and me to go to the next level, baby. So I discovered that this is kind of fun and I like it. I like this way of creating 
I like this way of getting feedback and having interaction with people. And I think it's really a cool way for people to have an experience of me when they might not be able to meet me in person. So I'm going to move forward with it. Which brings me to number five. I have a lot to learn. Now I did learn something about the algorithm, about I began experimenting with thumbnails at the ends of my videos, um, outros and, and things of that nature. But I really just scratched the surface of what's happening with YouTube. So I'm going on to not only finish the course that I'm in, but I'm reading a book about, it's called the YouTube formula, um, and whatever else occurs to me to really learn what I need to know in order to make videos that reach more people. Because that's the first thing I realized that I need to do is get really clear about what my YouTube channel is about. Why do I want to be in this? And for me, the purpose has got to be big enough that I'm going to stay in the game. This is not about growing my business and making more money. Frankly, that's just not big enough to motivate me. I actually want to take a message, a transformational message to people who are making a difference in the world so they can do that even more. Now that is exciting for me. That's something I will keep showing up for. My next steps with YouTube, as they occur to me, as I said, are, are learning more, but I also took a little bit of time off. There was a gap in my video creation. So I'm coming back with an increased sense of intention, a clearer intention about what I want to be up to, how I want to be sharing, and who I want to share that with. And of course, it's an evolving journey. So I hope that this has inspired you in your own journey of creation, whether that's on YouTube with video or somewhere else. And if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have ideas for video topics that you'd love for me to create in the future, please do post, let me know. You can comment below and I look forward to hearing from you again in the future.